we have to make one right angled triangle. So we can take segment tool and we can draw one triangle like this. Yes, now we have completed the triangle. This triangle is a right angled triangle, right angled at C. Now, using the sides, we will make squares. That is, we can take regular polygon option and we can click on these two points. Now you can see here, the number four is coming. So we can click uh, OK. Now from B to C, again you can click on OK. Next to C to A. After that we have to click OK. Square of hypotenuse equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. For that, we can divide this square into four parts. So let's take parallel line option. Then we can click on this line and on this point. Now we got one parallel line passing through this point. Again, for this line, we can make one parallel line to this point. Now you can see one, two, three, four parts. Okay. Now we can take intersect option. Now we will click here, here, and here. Now we can remove this line. For that, we can right click, then show object. Similarly, this line also, right click, show object. Now we can take a polygon option again. Then we can make the polygons here. Like this we can join. One polygon over. Next, uh, this one. Another one over next to this. Okay, so this is remaining. Now we made here four polygons. Now we can color these polygons. So right click. Here we can see color. We can take any color and uh, opacity we can increase like this. Then click on the next one. Okay. Now we have to close this. Now we can make one slider. For that we can click on this option, slider. Then we can click on this. Okay. Here we can name this slider as M O V T. Move. Any name we can give. Then here we can keep zero. Here maximum we can keep one and increment we can keep 0 0.1 then we can click on ok now the slider is ready here here within the bracket we have to write b minus l b minus l because we have to shift 
the point L to the point B. Then we will write B minus L. Then end. Okay. Now we can see one point here. When we use the slider, we can understand the moment of that point. The point is moving. Now we can take this vector option and we can join these two points and okay l and p we will join now we can check this it is moving like this up to this now we can go to translate by vector option then we can click on this then on this now we can see this part is moving and uh, reaching here okay so this part over like this we have to make for all other four parts total five parts are there one two three four and five again we can put one letter q equal to l plus move then we will put bracket then inside the bracket we can type the next we have to see to which point we have to move like this uh, so this green part we have to shift to this point p that is we have to move l to a so we can write there a minus l Okay, like this it is coming. Now we can take vector option again. From this point to this point we can join. After that we will take a translate by vector. Then we can click on this. then we can click on this now we can see this two parts are moving then next again in input part we can write the other letter r equal to l plus o then within bracket we will write L we have to shift to D so we will write there D minus L then end let's see this okay now again we can take vector now we can join this and this part okay next term translate by vector then this part we have to click on this then next slider next on this now three parts are here same way we can uh, transfer the next part also for that we can take letter s that is in input bar 
to type as equal to L plus O we can open bracket there and within bracket we can type okay we can just uh, drag this little bit down so that we will be able to understand this okay here we can see if how to shift this space to this corner so we have to shift l to e so within bracket we will write e minus l again we will go to vector option okay then translate by vector then we can click on this then click here now we will take compass option and if we can click on this two points and we can uh, click on this now we got here one circle now we have to find the point of intersection of the side and the circle so we have to understand this name of the side you can see here segment f segment ab segment i segment ab so we can click on any one of these options and uh, the circle option also the name of the circle is circle e here we understood the name of this side is a uh, suppose segment uh, i now we can go to intersect option then segment i we will find okay here it is i then we'll click on the circle okay now we got the intersecting point here now we can remove this circle so we can click on the circle and we can click on show object we have to shift this square to this place we can take one point t equal to point f that is f we will write here plus move and we can open the bracket now we will see we have to shift f to the point m m minus f then end up now you can see that point is here okay point is here now we can take vector option then we can click on this two points after that we can take uh, translate by vector option then click on this here we can see only 2 equal to 9 this has been selected that means this particular square we have selected now we can click on this so click yes over so we can see the square is coming now we have to remove these arrows for that we can click on the arrow and uh, we can click on show object like this we can uh, remove all that arrows right click on this and we can 
you can click here you can uncheck access it's not required again we can right click and uh, we can uncheck grid now we will get like this now if we want we can remove all these points and label everything you can click on this point show object with the labeling also you can remove you can right click on this you can click on uh, show a label now we can see it move like this so that we can understand square of hypotenuse equal to sum of the squares of other two sides thank you